The West Seattle Herald was there at the home of Janet and Mick Huff for the announcement of the verdict and the murder trial of their 22-year-old niece, Amanda Knox. Guilty on all counts. Uh, we'll go for Amanda Knox and her former lover, Rafael Solecito. We don't know more than that right now. Again, the Italian legal process in terms of getting to motivations or what factored in this verdict, we will not know. In fact, for days, maybe even weeks, all they do during this stage is read out the verdict. Because I'm out here speaking to you, I'm awaiting reaction. But you can imagine what must have been the reaction in speaking Absolutely. to the family in the last few days. Well, really, they had prepared for the worst. They said that they were prepared to move here to Italy, and that's what they will do now, to go through what will be a very lengthy appeals case. I still don't think that the people that had the decision to make had the courage to make it. I don't think that they did. I think that they were scared they were intimidated. Because, um, this person who is doing the prosecuting has put other people in jail for no reason, and uh, they're afraid. They're afraid of him. He's got charges filed against him already for, for illegally doing his job. He shouldn't be in jail. Do you think they had to come in with this one? I think that in that country there's a lot of you have to save face. You have to do things so that you don't look bad. And I think that if they admit that she was not guilty, and that they would have been admitting that they made a mistake in the first place, and that's not something they were willing to admit. This prosecutor, is he going to be the one prosecuting the appeal as well? God, I hope not, but I don't know. I absolutely don't know. It is, and Wolf, ironically, when we get a chance to talk to him, Amanda's mom, she's probably already trying to call. I don't know. I'm sure she's talking to the attorney. This is Pat Robinson for Steve Shea and WestSeattleHerald.com.